Hi, I'm Ian Roberts. And today we're going to talk about painting interiors. Interiors are an interesting distinction because it's a variation, you could say, almost of still life or of narrative painting. But we're going to carve it off as an area to look at because you know, most of us live indoors and we may see things that we are attracted to. And we're going to talk about painting interiors from photographs. So let's look at the image I was thinking of working on today. This is an example of something I didn't plan. I was in a restaurant and the sun came out and hit these table and chairs and I just thought, oh my God, will you look at that? And I took a picture of it and I thought it would make a good image to do a painting of today. There's a little piece of light hitting that right here and that is probably what I'm going to have as my center of interest in the painting. And I'll go into why that is in a bit. But you see how I'm just following these different objects along. Based on what I can see. And then I'm sort of losing the rest of that in the dark. And the fact that I'm losing it in the dark, I like that because it means that I can just have large, simple things against complex things. When you're painting and you have sunlight, there's a very strong shift of warm color to cool color. And you can exaggerate that blue. But even though it's blue, you can't get it too blue or it sort of looks ridiculous. So I find the quickest way to create a mid-gray is just ultramarine blue and cad yellow light and then adjust it from there. So I'm going to create quite a clean gray-blue for here. And what I'm, you know, you see what I'm doing is I'm seeing shapes and I'm painting shapes. There's no other explanation or way you could describe what I'm doing other than painting shapes. If you just follow this along, doing what I'm doing, and just paint the shape, try to find the color as best you can. If it's not right, go back and check it again, and then just get them in, one after the other. Um, I think you'll find that if you just follow me along here, when my painting starts to come together, you'll find that your painting's starting to come together, because the whole secret of the painting process is just finding the right color for each of the color shapes. And then it's sort of like the painting automatically just sort of happens. It's kind of like magic in a way when you get the colors right. Yeah.